The eastern wild turkey is one of five subspecies of wild turkeys and is the most common turkey found in Canada and in the eastern half of the United States. It also has the widest range of all five subspecies. They live in diverse habitats, but you can often find them in and near hardwood forests and agricultural fields. The eastern wild turkey is the biggest of the five subspecies. Adult male turkeys, also known as a tom or gobbler, average just over three feet in height and weigh up to 25 pounds. Juvenile male turkeys, also known as jakes, will typically be two and a half to three feet in height and average 16 pounds, while female turkeys, known as hens, are slightly smaller than jakes and weigh around nine pounds. To help keep them warm and protected from the elements, an adult turkey grows five to 6,000 dark yet colorful feathers that appear to change colors when the light hits them at different angles. They also have some of the best eyesight of any animal. Their eyes are positioned on the side of their heads, giving them an almost 360 degree field of vision. They also have excellent color and depth perception and don't have to shift their focus to see objects at different distances, meaning everything in a turkey's view is always in focus. Though wild turkeys generally sleep or roost high up in trees, when it comes time to laying their eggs, hens prefer the ground. Eastern wild turkeys lay their eggs from late March to May, typically laying an average of 8 to 12 eggs. This process takes 1 to 2 weeks to complete, as hen turkeys usually only lay one egg a day, and to be able to lay that egg, they first need to be bred by a male turkey, typically a tom. Unlike other birds that will collect debris to create a nest, turkeys often lay their eggs directly on the ground, sometimes in a grassy area protected by overgrown bushes. The incubation period lasts 26 to 28 days. Once the incubation period has passed, the eggs may hatch within a 24-hour period. The courting phase is the most important and often the most entertaining time when it comes to turkeys. This phase happens just before and during the breeding and nesting period. A tom shows its courting behaviors much like a peacock, with exciting displays of their tail feathers. They first engage small muscles attached to their body feathers to manipulate the position of the feathers and stand erect, appearing like they have puffed themselves up, creating the illusion they are bigger than they really are. Shortly after, they quickly and most dramatically spread their 18 tail feathers into a dazzling display in hopes of catching the eye of a nearby hen. This whole process is often referred to as strutting or full strut. The top of the tom's head is typically pure white when he's strutting, while the rest of the face and down through the neck can be in a range of blues, reds, and whites, which they have control over. These changing colors show other turkeys what type of mood they're in. The color changing process is done by contracting and relaxing small blood vessels under the skin. The fleshy, worm-like piece of skin that is positioned in front of the eyes and just above the beak is referred to as the snood. This also has the ability to change colors along with its shape, ranging from short and stubby to long and colorful. Though strutting is used to attract a hen, it's also used to show intimidation and dominance over other male turkeys and can often be seen outside the typical courting season. Most notably, male turkeys produce a loud and unique vocalization called gobbling. A gobble can be heard a mile or more away and is used for a variety of situations. But as well known as the gobble is, turkeys spend most of their time clucking and purring to one another. These much lower volume calls can be hard to hear unless very close to the bird. The different types of clucks and purrs can mean many things from friendly and courting purrs, aggressive fighting purrs, and even warning clucks to alert everyone that danger is near. And there's your five facts on the Eastern Wild Turkey. Do you know any other interesting facts about turkeys we didn't mention here? If so, be sure to write them down in the comments section below 
and give the video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos and content, please subscribe to our page and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And to follow our amazing adventures around Canada, please join us on Facebook and Instagram.